Puff Bunny is launching their new swim this Saturday, February 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys keep up with the Instagram brands, that's also the day that Alpha Elite's launching their big birthday bash, AKA sale. So it's safe to say a lot's going on this Saturday. It's a celebration. Welcome back to the channel. That's right, we have a lot of talking to do about this Buff Bunny swim collection. Now, I know this is not their first go around with swim. I do believe, if I heard correctly through the grapevine, that this is their third round of swim. This is actually my first personal experience with their swim in general, so I'll first impressions, here we go. I actually got this idea because I had one of you gals when I was teasing this on Instagram DM me saying that they had a little awkward of an experience with last year's launch, their swim line. Apparently there was some see-through items. I don't know because I didn't try it, but I figured, you know what, let's add some extra value and try these babies getting real wet with it. Before we get into it, if you saw my last video, the Alpha Leap birthday sale, you would know that this video today has a Buff Bunny giveaway in it, giving away two $50 gift cards. So we're gonna have two winners today. So stay tuned for that. And if you don't already know, there's a giveaway going on in the off -lead video as well. So be sure to hit that up, more chances to win. I said it before and I'm gonna say it again, in 2022, I'm doing my best to get back to you guys. You guys have shown us nothing but love and support since we started this channel. So any way that we could possibly give back, I'm all for it. And in case I get some questions on this blouse, this is in fact Silk and Salt's perfect tie blouse. I showed it in my Instagram stories. You guys really liked it a lot. Total 60s retro vibes. This is what I love about Silk and Salt. They have that boho theme with their pieces and they're very comfortable and high quality. So I'll leave a code down here if you want, you save 20% off, can't beat that. All right guys, so I'm just gonna let you know that their swim line has so many different beautiful colors, patterns, different styles, coverage. They got bikinis, they got one pieces, they got cover ups, like no matter who you are, you may find something for you because there's that many options for crying out loud. So let's, um, let's just start. I'm gonna do an overview of what I got here. Do a full try on and testing in the shower. Let's go. I got my handy dandy laptop here to help me out because I can't remember names for the life of me. So we have the Santorini bikini top and bottom. Supposedly you can wear this swim top like eight different ways. We have the Bermuda bikini top and shark bite bikini bottoms V2 in the color Malibu. While we're on the topic of neons, I also got this neon yellowy green color. It's in the color Aloha. This is actually the Chasing Waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfall. Bikini top and shark bite bottom. I got the Laguna one piece in the color Tango. Look at this fuchsia purple color. Are you joking me right now? The Venetian Lavender Leopard Bossy Print. Two in, two in one prints, they went there. The Cayman cover-up. At first, when I read it, I thought it said caveman and I was like, okay, I could see a caveman wearing this. That's cool, rustic. No, it's just came in. Duh, Ash. Oh, this might be one of my favorite pieces. The Odyssey Mesh Pant. I got it in the color Terracotta. I regret, I regret not getting it in black already. Flow Shorts V2. In Malibu and Aloha. Nice hot pink and a highlighter yellow. Way to spruce up the summer here. These could be a really nice cover up, but I'm just gonna let you know, hint, hint, I would work out in these. As much as I love, love swimwear, who doesn't? I'm just never around water. It's depressing. I never go to the beach because it's too crowded. I don't have a pool. So you'd be lucky to catch me swimming even just once a year. It's depressing. I don't want to talk about it. I do plan on going away and going on some trips. Bay and I are in the process of planning something for next month. So you might catch me on the beach on Instagram. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to have to stick to the shower and the mirror selfies. First impression, oh my God, is this high cut and cheeky. Ooh, girl, I, uh, mm. I'm just moving around a little bit and it's turning into a thong. I'm even feeling it kind of slowly lip over. You know that lip over that swimwear sometimes does? I'm starting to feel that. Luckily, there's no ugly white liner on the inside where it literally looks like you're wearing a diaper. When it lips over, you're still seeing hot pink tango color. 
other than that, this is such a beautiful solid one piece. If you look up ultra close, there's actually a very minimal pinstripe design. I would say this is totally true to size, man. This is really comfortable moving around. Let's face it, there's different reasons people wear swimwear. You got the people who, like me who just like to lay out and do nothing in the sun. You got the wave chasers. I like to do that from time to time, chase some waves, even just chilling in a hot tub for crying out loud. I think this is a pretty versatile piece if you don't mind it riding up your bum. Semi low support though, the bra pads in here are very, very thin. I'm not complaining because nobody wants a big bulky bish going on right here because that could just look awkward. It feels very natural up top. I love the zipper. Ooh, damn. I actually really like the little minuscule seam cut right here, a little breakup going on. If you look closely, you can see it right from the groin and up. It really accentuates the curves. It brings it right back, kind of hugging you in a little bit. Again, I'll have my measurements down below for you just to compare and contrast to see if this will work for you. For me, I think it's very, very comfortable. I also have a shorter torso. So if you have a real long torso, I don't know. Maybe you'll really start to feel this right up here. Okay. <laughs> this is nice and double lined. You're yeah, not gonna see anything through it. I gotta admit, this is one of the most comfortable one pieces I've ever worn because there's no digging down here by the crotch. It's a really nice fit. I guess my only concern is this slowly turning into a thong in the back. Other than that, if you don't mind that, this is a really solid one piece. Actually, I feel like the back here is staying put more now that it's wet. It's not shifting around the material. So I could see if I actually use this for swimming. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so concerned with it riding up because it's gluing to my skin nicely. So this Venetian one piece is definitely more of my speed. There's definitely more coverage going around right on the glue area. Thank goodness, because that other one got a little too up close and personal, if you know what I mean. The one thing I do have to say is, I don't think this is going to roll. I could feel it. This is not the type that's going to roll. You do have a white liner underneath, but it should be fine. They're taking that Odyssey wrap skirt and they're just putting it right all up on their bikinis here. I think this tie detail adds such a nice little hip pop that just kind of, mm, you know what I mean? Nice and thick here and a sexy satin strap. This one's adjustable. This one's not, right? No. I think these two prints look so stellar. I think it complements each other so well. The texture is really cool. It's almost like a really lightweight rib, if that makes sense. Look how stretchy. This is a very stretchy piece, <laughs> super comfortable. They nailed it with this one, Laguna. You don't see any skin throughout, but when you're in like a really crazy bend or moving around and stretching out the material, you do see it turn to white. And that's because there is a liner, like a lining underneath it. Just a white liner right here. I'm a little bit concerned if it starts to a little bit of roll up, it's gonna look a little, a little weird, but so far it's not. There's like a little elastic cuff here, keeping it in place. A little bit heavy, but guys, if you're looking for a bathing suit that you're not gonna see through, it's not gonna move around, shift, nice full coverage, you don't have to worry, then yes, I highly suggest this. Really nice, good quality and cute as hell. Okay, Santorini. Oh boy, Woo. This is how I chose to wear this top. <laughs> I don't know what style you would call it, but basically, what the? I haven't messed with the adjustments yet, so let me loosen it and see. Oh wow. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I really love the fact that there's an adjustable string here to make you comfy down here, okay? It feels better. I don't have to size up or down or whatever. Okay, cool. But talk to me about this color. I know they have different leopard print colors. The neon green, I think it's growing on me. I'm just not used to this type of crazy style on a bikini. I'm more of a minimal when it comes to things like this, but I feel like for my spunky, funky gals, I think that this might speak volumes. I like the moderate coverage. It's not like that first one piece where my whole booty was hanging out. Like if I'm moving around, I'm not really feeling it shift much like that first one, that fuchsia color, but it doesn't have as much coverage on the booty area as the lavender one piece. So the high rise makes it slightly a little more conservative in the areas here. I also feel like these bra molds in this are a lot more heavy duty than the one piece ones. One piece was really thin. These are actual bra cups. Make my girls look bigger than they actually are, okay. Yeah, this is holding up just fine. No sheerness. We're looking good. I didn't think so with this intense of a color and print. Keep in mind these bikini bottoms, I was just walking to the shower and I could feel them slowly making their way up in the back. So just keep Okay, while we're on the topic of leopard print, let's play around with this Cayman cover up.
There you go, how does it look? <laughs> so I twisted them over each other and tied it back behind my neck. So it looks like a cover up dress. Can you see? This is technically a midi, but it's coming full length on my short ass. Can you believe it? I can. I really wish that this print was the same identical look on the inside. I, I don't like this side peeping out. So when it folds over, like I can see that and I'm just like, yeah, such a nice little cover up. Are you kidding me? Like you go from the beach onto the boardwalk and you wanna eat some sushi, you can. So do we like little tube top action? Because I just took it off from around my neck and just tied it around back instead. Actually, Bay did it for me. I'm gonna give you credit here. I think this leopard print is a really chic style. I think the fact that there's a multitude of different colors that you can choose from, I really wish, I have no clue why I didn't get any cover ups in the staple black, but I'm kicking myself for that. I really wish I did. Like now I'm looking, I'm like, a black would just match every single thing and I wasn't thinking. So please don't make the same mistake that I did. So this is the Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls bikini top. Shark bite bikini bottom V2. Wow, is this cheeky. A little bit too cheeky for me. I'm also just not used to wearing bikinis that much, so that's probably why. I wanna say, there's no adjustments or anything. It is what it is, it's very straightforward. I think that this is the lowest support of them all that I have in this haul. There's no actual band or anything that's holding you up. You have smaller girls kind of like me, <laughs> then I think that you might really like this because it's very lightweight and just enough to support you. This is a bikini I would wear sunbathing. Remember when I said this is more of like a sunbathing suit? That's probably what I'd use it for, I stand by that. The top's okay because you have bra pads, but the bottoms, when I really bend over, base says you can see a little bit of something going on back there. So the bottoms are right, eh. <laughs> it's a very light color, what do you expect? Woo, okay, let's put on the flow shorts. I'm gonna go ahead and say these are some of my favorite loose fit, built-in lining shorts that I've ever put on my body. They're so feather light, it's scary. The drawstring cords are ridiculously like, oh, look how stretchy that is. What is this? Is this slime right now? <laughs> A little bit looser around here though, I will say. I think you could get away with sizing down. What I really love, ooh, what I really, 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 really love is the fact that the liner underneath is very stretchy and breathable and it doesn't cut in. You got a lot of pockets, you got two front pockets, then a back pocket here. Top it all off, you have a zippered pocket on this side. You can be fully equipped with this one. I like the length. I like the breathability. This is the ideal summer short for me. We got it in the hot pink color too, oh my God. Same exact shorts, different color. Oof. Okay, so we have the Shark Bite Bikini Bottom, the regular one, not the V2 like this one you just saw. Same thing, different cuts entirely. This one has a high rise look. This one was that low rise. This has a little bit, mm, still cheeky. <laughs> I think it's just a big difference is the high rise look on this one automatically like this one a lot more. I'm starting to really just love a nice high-waisted bikini bottom, that's just me. This is the Bermuda bikini top. Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama. This Malibu color, this hot pink, is such a Barbie doll look. <laughs> this is so girly, I love it. Very feminine, again, same thing as what you just saw in the last two piece. It's that heavy rib. The top though, mm, the top definitely. I should have sized down in this top. If I could do it all over again, I would. I would definitely suggest it. Like, yeah, it's a little bit loose on me. What I do like is the overall design. You have that real nice deep V going down here. This V is actual wire, hard wire under here. It's not uncomfortable, but it's there. I love the back of this bikini top. Like, it is so pretty. I definitely like this set 10 times more than the lime green. I'm just going I'm just going to go there right now. Definitely more of a supportive bra. I feel way more comfortable wearing this bikini. So this one's pretty good. If you're looking for a neon bikini that you want to swim in, maybe opt for the hot pink. I'm not seeing any sheerness in this color and I knew I loved this color for a reason. It did not let me down. Real quick intermission if you made it this far. First of all, thank you so much. It is time for the giveaway. Super easy entry. Again, we're giving away two $50 gift cards. So two winners, each will win one $50 gift card to buy the new Buff Bunny with or whatever you want on the site. 
All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, be subscribed to Buff Bunny's YouTube channel, like this video, and last but not least, answer me this question. What's your favorite thing from Buff Bunny? If you never tried Buff Bunny, comment something you would like to try from Buff Bunny. So definitely share that below. I will be contacting the giveaway winner via YouTube. I'll be replying to your comment. So definitely keep tabs on your notifications so you don't miss out. And thank you so much to Buff Bunny for providing the gift cards. Good luck to you guys. Okay, I might be saving one of my favorites for last. This is the Odyssey Mesh Pant Cover Up. I love the side tie we got going on here. This is in the color Terracotta. I wish I got this in black so it could go with everything, but this is the closest mix that I have that's acceptable. This mesh pant is all that in a bag of chips. Nice and stretchy, 100% mesh and breathability. If you look at it as a whole, like it looks almost like a, there's a slight flare going on on the bottom. However, if you don't really like that style, it comes equipped with little drawstrings at the ankle and have a little cuff down here. Ooh, that's cute. The fit is so comfortable, stretchy, true to size. Your ass is gonna look amazing in it. Just saying, you can see fully through, so this is not something you wear by itself. <laughs> it's a cover up, wear a bikini underneath it. All right guys, so that concludes today's video. What are your thoughts? Comment down below, I wanna know what you think. I really do think that Heidi and the Buff Bunny team were very spot on with giving a variety, not only in just sizing, we already know they're really good with their sizing, but I think the prints and the colors, I think the overall theme that they went with here really is working. I think there's something for everybody, I really do. And a huge thank you if you use my support code GATA during this launch or any other future Buff Bunny launches always and forever please be sure to pop me a message on instagram or let me know in the comments please i would love to personally thank you myself thanks again to buff bunny for sending these pieces out my way for me to review for you guys thanks so much for watching i love you guys so much i'll catch you in my next video